of the survey only this lane, okay? I will not turn over other, the other lane. And then uh, when you, everyone please come. When you're picking, picking up the strawberry, hold here and then just snap it like this. Oh, mm -hmm. And then do not touch like this one, only that one, okay? okay. Uh, the strawberry is really sensitive uh, about the temperature, so since when you touch this one, this strawberry cannot eat. Uh, okay? Mm -hmm. So, yep. Um, please go. <laughs> Thank you. Apparently we're only allowed 500 grams of strawberries, so I'm going to have to throw some in my pocket. <laughs> Savage. Um, and do that way. So this is quite fun. I would definitely do like fruit picking again sometime somewhere else. This is more of an indoor greenhouse. As you can see inside it's a little bit warmer than the temperature outside so that's why you're able to pick them like year in year out so I'm with a few other people so these guys up here are from Singapore and um, these guys down here I think they're Chinese don't quote me on it um, but everyone's from around everywhere but yeah these are looking quite juicy I'm gonna try to taste the strawberry even though I've had like two already Mmm <laughs> <laughs> It's very sweet right? <laughs> like milky <laughs> So good So good <laughs> Thank yep. you well, um... So he said these are being shipped to Vietnam yeah, and they're quite expensive strawberries, he said. Um, so these being shipped to Vietnam as of tomorrow. And he said that originally they were producing Japanese strawberries. Um, so they decided to make their own. So these are Korean strawberries. Oh, very interesting. And then he just told us that we could eat them while picking so that's what we've just been doing so like we got both got boxes full of strawberries and now we're like oh no we can actually eat them we didn't know so <laughs> them guys are like scoffing their way through all these strawberries the lighting in here is legit the bomb and I'm trying to eat as many strawberries as I can this is basically breakfast um, but no, these are good. I was a bit worried because I wasn't sure if they were washed or not, but he's gobbled down like 12 already, he said. That's why he loves this tour guide job, because he gets to eat all the strawberries as well. Um, and it, they're really nice. Like, big, juicy, succulent strawberries. That's what you want. But back in England, you only seem to get the small ones. You never really see big, juicy strawberries like this in England. So even though they're kind of imported as well, strawberries, they're kind of uh, much more on the smaller side, I would say. <laughs> but, <laughs> but in Korea, they're on the big side, as you can see. Um, so yeah, I definitely would try um, fruit picking again somewhere else. So this is the produce name, Mayang Premium Quality. I don't know if you can see that sticker clearly in this light. I'm doing my best to multitask right back now, eating the strawberry, holding my strawberries, I can't close the box right now, so I'm going to have to eat them and walk at the same time. But this has been a nice little adventure. And now we're going to go to a village. 
don't quote me on what the village name is because I have been trying to learn Korean as well. I'll insert that at a later point because um, that has been quite uh, a highlight of my trip is practicing some of my Korean um, words. Oh, hold on, let me eat some more strawberries before I get up out of here. Anyway guys, bye from the strawberry field. We are in Amcham Pechong village and then this uh, Does anyone know what happened in 1950? Uh, in 1950 we had a Korean war with North Korea. Uh, at the time North Korea had uh, uh, China supported North Korea and then also Russia supported uh, North Korea. And then uh, that's why North Korea was really really strong at the time. Uh, North Korea occupied 90% of South Korea uh, within only seven days, and then 10% of uh, South Korea is like Busan area. So all the refugees come down to the Busan. But the problem is um, the refugees doesn't have uh, uh, the refugees doesn't have ground for their, new, their own house. So they start the old house on top of the mountain. That's why Busan have got a lot of uh, village in the top of the mountain. The government tried to develop this village and then in 2009 they started uh, remodeling this village and then they invited uh, a lot of uh, artists and then volunteers and they came here and then they uh, painted on the wall of statue in the, in the middle of their village. Uh, the most, most famous build, uh, statue is Little Prince. Uh, you see up there? A lot of, a lot of uh, queuing, I mean a uh, long queue on there, the yellow block. Oh. If you go there you can see the Little Prince, that is most famous building, uh, statue. Okay, we're going to take a little and then 